Hi, in this video we're going to find out how to retrieve a list of table names from a database. So there are various ways of achieving this. Uh, one method that has been around for a long time is to use this SP underscore table system store procedure. Let's have a quick look and see how that works. So to run this, you simply type SP underscore tables in your database and execute the system store procedure and you can see you get a list of table names and also the table owner uh, just to show you that this does match the list of tables in the database just be aware that if you're running this store procedure the account needs to have appropriate user permissions to run this so if you get an error or no data is returned then check your permissions on the user you're using this with there is a second way of getting the table names and data from the database. Uh, the second one returns a bit more data, which could be useful. So let's have a look at the alternative method. The other method is to query the sys.tables table that is in all SQL Server databases. So as you can see when we run this, we get a list of table names. Uh, this time we get a lot more data. Um, two columns that are very useful is you can find out when a table was created using create underscore date and also when it was last modified at modify underscore date. There are also a lot more columns that you might find useful. About the most useful other column here is the schema underscore ID. You can see it's just a number. This is a reference to the schema table. So let's have a look in schemas. So the schema underscore ID here will allow you to get the name of this schema if you do a table join. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, if you want the code, it's in the description below. So if we do a table join between sys.schemas and sys.tables, then we can have schema name and table name in the results. And obviously you can put more table column names here if you want extra results. So those were two ways of getting the table names from a SQL Server database. Check the description below because I also have a video about retrieving other properties, including table column names. You might also find that useful. Thanks for watching.